Dude, there are so many features inside of Filmora 14 that absolutely destroy CapCut. Here are some examples of a few of them. Et maintenant, nous avons juste le... The first feature is called planar motion tracking that essentially automatically tracks a certain plane or object or surface for you and therefore allows you to stitch anything you want to that certain plane. Inside of the software, if you go to video and AI tools, you can activate planar motion tracking. We can then go to auto and drag this little rectangular box over the plane that we want to track. All I have to do is click start and that is gonna track our plane. Once your track is done, we can go ahead and import any object that we want. I'm gonna drag it to my timeline and you'll see here, if I go back to my footage, I say link element, right on top of us, we have the universal social element. Now what happens when we click play is our element moves perfectly with our footage, almost looking like it is directly on our footage. And here's another use case. On the building, I planar tracked it and applied this joker effect. Check this out. Our joker perfectly follows the building. The next feature extends so far past CapCut. You know those audio visualizers that move with the beat of your song, like what you're seeing right now? That's exactly what I've been looking for for so long. And Filmora 14 has it. By going to effects, I can go to audio effects and audio visualizers. Here, you literally get a ton of different audio visualizers. I really, really liked these top two. And by dragging and pasting that onto your timeline, you have an audio visualizer that moves with the beat of your song. Check this out. How cool is that? And that's not only it, you have full customizable ability. They're transparent too. So if you add a background or anything underneath it, you can still see that background and the audio visualizer. On the topic of audio and music, how many times is your timeline too long for the song that you've chosen? Your timeline is four minutes, your song is two minutes, and you can't get the song to fit the timeline perfectly. Well, Filmora 14 has somehow magically solved this. There's a tool called audio stretch. By clicking it, it brings up this music icon, which I then drag over my music track. And just again, magically, I drag my music track to the end of my timeline. And now our music track perfectly and professionally fits our entire timeline. On the contrary or oppositely, I can drag this shorter than my music track if my timeline was shorter. And just like that, it still ended the song in a natural professional way but now our song is half the length. I can't tell you as an editor how long and how many hours I've spent trying to perfectly match my song to the end of my timeline. This does it in a number of seconds. The next feature is AI masking or draw masking. Let me show you what I mean. By going to video and mask and select it on the AI mask, I can drag over myself and watch what happens when I release. It has done a perfect cutout of myself. In addition, let's go backspace. I can go back to the AI mask. Let's say I wanted to cut out my computer, which actually isn't in focus, by the way. I drag over my computer and just like that, it's perfectly masked out my computer. This obviously allows you to do things like place text behind you, place objects behind you, do a whole bunch of animation and VFX. Say that AI mask somehow didn't work. I can go to the draw mask and I can manually draw around me to create a perfect mask. There are very few cases that you wouldn't use the AI mask because it's just so easy. But if you do need to use it, you have the ability to use your draw mask. So many more masking features in CapCut. I mean, this is just incredible. Before we move on to the next feature, quickly, if you want to download and trial Filmora, there's a free trial for you. Just click the first link in the description, go to the website, download it onto your computer. It's really available for all computers. And you can free trial, get a taste of these effects and features, try it for yourself and figure out, do you like them or not? In addition, let me know how it goes for you when you use them. And there are three licenses sponsored by Filmora that they are giving out. So by dropping a comment and letting me know what you think about it, you can win a free license. You have so much really, really good stock media inside of the app. So many of these apps have stock media, but they're cringe and you'd never use them. However, here you have things like motion backgrounds, right? There's one on screen right now. There's black backgrounds, liquid backgrounds. These are my personal favorites. The cinematic tab, there's one on screen right now. That is 100% a background that I'd use either for background or transition. Here's another one that is cinematic, looks beautiful. I know paper, kind of paper effects and paper backgrounds have been trending a lot. Here's a simple background. If I just go ahead and play that, 100% I'd use that. That's kind of an Ali Abdel effect. My point is there's so much stock media and so many backgrounds that are gonna level up your edits 
and things that you would absolutely use. The next feature is professional and easy keyframing, something that allows you to level up and really create After Effects animations and visual effects. Simply by using one of the backgrounds that I described, let's go ahead and import this cool emoji right here. And let me show you how easy it is to animate. If I play that, our emoji moves in a very linear fashion, something that us editors will know. This is where Filmora's magic comes in, and I've actually never seen this. By clicking the path curve and then selecting my emoji, I can see the path that our object, our emoji, is following. And if I go to a keyframe and select it, it turns black. I can right click, say keyframe type and select curve. Now you can see what it's done is it's changed that all the way to a curve where I now actually get more tools to play with my keyframes. Now watch what happens when I play that. But let's say you're a little bit of a keyframe snob and you don't want to edit your keyframes directly from your view panel. By right clicking on your object, you can say show keyframe animation. Make sure that your path curve is turned off. And by selecting one of your keyframes, you can go ahead and hit that graph icon where now we have the option to fully customize our keyframes right inside the edit panel. This next one is incredible if you have footage that is old, out of focus, or just shot on something that doesn't look that good. It is Filmora's built-in AI video enhancer. All right, so here's some avatar footage. This is like 720p. It doesn't look that good on our 4K timeline. While selected on my video, I go to AI tools, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see AI video enhancer. All you have to do is click generate, and it creates that enhanced version of your video and puts it on your timeline. And that is what the AI has produced. Let me just emphasize this for a second by zooming into our subject's eyes. This is the AI enhancement, and let me go ahead and activate the original. You can see that original is just, it doesn't look good at all, and there's our AI enhancement. But lastly, before we move on, oftentimes the AI can create artifacts or warps in the image and it doesn't look good. So it wouldn't be a video enhancement if the video didn't look good. So check this out. Zero artifacting in our object or our subject and the subject stays perfectly sharp and actually looks great. So this is a great way to transform old footage, blurry footage, bad looking footage into something actually usable. This next one had me on the floor laughing the first time I heard it because of how cool it was but also how funny it is. It's AI translations, right? So you have your video, you've done it in English or whatever language you speak. In Filmora, click on your video, go to these two lines, drop down and say AI translation. From here, you get to do your source language. Obviously, I'm speaking English. And then you get to do your Tari language. Now, I want to transform this to French. I click translate. Et maintenant, nous avons juste le, une caméra audio croustillante, ceci. In addition, we have the subtitles that it automatically generates. Now, I don't speak French, so someone who's French will have to tell me how accurate it is. But what I can see is that the audio, the French audio, is actually perfectly in line for when I'm saying my English part. So it kind of automatically syncs the translation to the original and a great way to make some dubbed versions of your video. This next one saves hours and hours of time, especially when you're doing long talking head videos. All right, in your original media bin, when you bring in a piece of footage, you can right click on that footage, scroll down and say silence detection. What this is essentially going to do, if I click analyze, is analyze my footage and see all the portions where I'm not speaking, right? What it automatically does is it disables those portions. So when we click export to timeline, it inputs all the videos and parts of me speaking and removes the portions where I'm silent. So now we just have the chopped version of our timeline instead of having to manually chop it. And it took all but 10 seconds. And lastly, something that is incredible. It is an adjustment layer that is built into the software. Guys, come on. All right, so if you go to your media, there's a tab called adjustment layer. You can create a custom, but in preset, you just click the plus icon. It adds that to your timeline. So whatever I do to the adjustment layer on my color tab impacts the rest of my footage. So let's say you have 100 different clips and you want the same look for all of them. Why edit each clip individually when you can just edit the adjustment layer and that applies down to your footage. So if I select boost, can see that it's now applied my boost to all the files that are under my adjustment layer. So guys, those are some incredible features. And I say some because there are so many more, but those are some incredible features and effects from Fremora 14 that absolutely destroy CapCut. And I didn't touch on all of them. So I want to know from you guys, once you use the trial and purchase Fremora, what features are your favorite? Let me know in the comments and you can stand a chance to win a license.